Well, hello there. Welcome to Alcatraz. This isn't just any island. It's a place steeped in history, mystery, and a fair share of bird droppings. Or, as I like to call it, the Big Bird Cage. You see, Alcatraz is not just a rock in the middle of the bay. It's a sanctuary for our feathered friends. You know the place. That infamous island prison rising out of the San Francisco Bay like a grumpy, moss-covered molar. It's shrouded in fog and mystery, a place where the past whispers through the walls. Yep, this hunk of rock was once home to some of America's most notorious criminals. Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz, all called this place home at one point. Now it's a tourist attraction, a bird sanctuary, and, if you believe the rumors, a very active paranormal hotspot. People come from all over the world to walk the same halls as these infamous inmates, to feel the chill of history and maybe even catch a glimpse of a ghost or two. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. As we journey through Alcatraz, we'll uncover its many layers. From its beginnings as a military fort, to its transformation into a maximum security prison. And finally, to its current status as a national park and wildlife refuge. So, grab your cameras. Keep your eyes peeled, and let's dive into the fascinating world of Alcatraz Island. Alcatraz, see, wasn't always a prison. Oh no, it started as a military fort. Then it morphed into a maximum security penitentiary for the real baddies. We're talking mob bosses, gangsters, and folks who just couldn't keep their noses clean. Names like Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and the infamous Birdman of Alcatraz, Robert Stroud, who, ironically, wasn't allowed to keep birds on Alcatraz. Now, step inside, why don't you? Don't worry, the cells are empty. Mostly. Each one of these cramped little boxes housed a guest of the government. They had a bed, a toilet, and if they were lucky, a view that didn't make them seasick. Imagine spending 22 hours a day staring at these walls. You'd go batty, wouldn't you? Ah, uh, D-Block, the hole of Alcatraz. This is where the really bad boys went. And by bad, I mean the kind of bad that would make your grandmother blush. It was solitary confinement 24-7, with just the sound of dripping water and your own thoughts for company. Let's just say they didn't call it the treatment for nothing. It was designed to break even the toughest criminal. Section 5. Escape Attempts. Creative, crazy, and ultimately unsuccessful. Now, who can forget the daring escape attempts? Alcatraz, the infamous island prison, was known for its high security and the treacherous waters surrounding it. Yet that didn't stop some of the most determined inmates from trying to break free. Alcatraz saw 14 escape attempts, all of which ended in failure. Each attempt was a testament to the human spirit's desire for freedom, no matter how impossible the odds seemed. The most famous, of course, was the one in 1962. This escape attempt has become legendary, capturing the imagination of people worldwide. Three fellas, Frank Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin, used spoons, raincoats, and a whole lot of ingenuity. They meticulously planned their escape, chipping away at the walls of their cells with spoons over several months. They even made dummy heads to fool the guards. These heads, crafted from soap, toilet paper, and real human hair, were placed in their beds to buy them precious time. Did they make it? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Despite extensive searches, no conclusive evidence was ever found to confirm their fate. Some believe they perished in the cold waters of San Francisco Bay, while others hold on to the hope that they made it to freedom. The mystery remains unsolved, adding to the allure and legend of Alcatraz. Section 6. The Rock's Flora and Fauna where nature meets penitence. But Alcatraz isn't all doom and gloom. Nope, this island is also a haven for wildlife. 
You've got your seagulls, of course, squawking and dive-bombing tourists. But there are also herons, cormorants, and even the occasional seal sunning itself on the rocks. It's a strange juxtaposition, really, this brutal prison overtaken by nature. Sort of poetic when you think about it. Section 7. Hollywood's Alcatraz. Fact, Fiction, and Clint Eastwood. Now, Alcatraz has had its fair share of Hollywood fame, too. From Birdman of Alcatraz to Escape from Alcatraz, the silver screen just can't get enough of this place. Clint Eastwood even had a go at escaping in that last one. Spoiler alert, he didn't quite make it in real life. Hollywood, gotta love it. Always stretching the truth. Section 8. The Ghosts of Alcatraz. Boo? or just a seagull. And then there are the ghost stories. Alcatraz is apparently crawling with them. Guards hearing whispers, cells going cold, the usual spooky stuff. Is it true? Who knows? But there's definitely an eerie feeling in certain parts of the prison. Maybe it's the wind whistling through the bars, or maybe it's something else. Section 9. The Future of the Rock crumbling walls, and tourist dollars. So, what's next for Alcatraz? Well, the island is slowly crumbling into the sea. Erosion, you know how it is. But for now, it's a popular tourist spot, a reminder of a darker time in American history. It's a place that makes you think, that makes you wonder about the people who were imprisoned here. Section 10, Alcatraz, a final thought, or two. So there you have it. Alcatraz, a fascinating, eerie, and slightly hilarious slice of American history. This island, once a formidable fortress and later a notorious federal prison, has captured the imagination of many. From infamous inmates like Al Capone to daring escape attempts, Alcatraz is steeped in stories that are as chilling as they are intriguing. It's a place where the lines between fact, fiction, and the truly bizarre blur, like the San Francisco fog. The fog itself adds an element of mystery, shrouding the island in a veil of uncertainty. You can almost feel the weight of history pressing down on you as you walk through its abandoned corridors. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, if you listen closely enough, you'll hear the echoes of the past whispering through the bars. The clanging of cell doors, the murmurs of inmates, and the footsteps of guards seem to linger in the air, creating an atmosphere that is both haunting and captivating. Or maybe it's just the seagulls. These birds have made the island their home, adding a touch of life to the otherwise desolate landscape. Their calls can be heard echoing through the empty halls, a stark contrast to the silence that once dominated this place. Either way, visiting Alcatraz is an experience you won't soon forget. The guided tours offer a glimpse into the island's storied past, complete with anecdotes and historical facts that bring the place to life. You'll walk the same paths as some of America's most notorious criminals and see firsthand the conditions they endured. Just don't ask me to spend the night. The island takes on an even more eerie quality as the sun sets and darkness envelops it. The distant lights of San Francisco seem worlds away, and the isolation of Alcatraz becomes all the more palpable. It's a place that leaves a lasting impression, one that will stay with you long after you've left its shores.